343 just put some rather tight player restrictions on their most popular mode in the multiplayer, making it so you can't actually play with some of your friends online. The head of the competitive side of things of Halo Tashi went on made a blog talking about the matchmaking updates that they're making with Halo Infinite. So this is what happened here, saying, if you're a CSR 1500 and above, aka an Onyx player, you will be unable to search with a fire team of three or four and will be shown an error message. This is not based on fire team average. If even one player on the fire team is Onyx and the rest are below Onyx, the fire team will not be able to search. Effectively, this means that ranked arena playlists will be solos and duos only, only, if you're an Onyx player. As someone who mainly plays ranked, this doesn't affect me too much because I'm actually just a lonely little diamond player. But I have gone to Onyx once before, but when 343 took away the solo duo playlist and just merged that into the open playlist, as a solo player for the most part, I do come across a lot of teams of three and even four. And Tashi talks about the issue that that separate playlist caused earlier before when they had it, saying that basically they combined them for improved health of the gameplay experience itself, so better ping, Things, time to match and skill matching but now it's kind of like the wild west of like you might get just a team of randoms or you might get matched against a team of four with your team of randoms and it could be extremely frustrating as a team in coordination with like three or four i've noticed for the most part they have communication they co coordinate better and so then they're able to win matches a lot easier compared to your team of randoms who most likely don't have mics and are kind of just playing for themselves and it's odd to see three for three put this type of restriction on their most popular mode in the game if you don't believe me check this out right here halo.apa has been putting out some great information here just taking small snippets of the player base showcasing the player count roughly it's not the full count but it's a little bit of xbox a little pc here mixed in with this and showcasing that ranked arena is the most popular mode and has been consistently the most popular mode within halo infinite interestingly enough the least popular mode is team doubles the mode that people have been crying for for so long though 343 said they did implement a fix in july when it came to player matching within ranked saying right here that effectively what they did is that the higher your fire team player count is the more lenient the csr matching is effectively making it so then if you're in a team of four you'll be matching players above your skill level because just try to off balance that communication teamwork aspect which is kind of like a thing that's really hard to numerate right it's hard to like put a direct skill value to communication and coordination. And I would say for the most part that it actually kind of works. I would say a lot of times when I do match against a team of three and I'm on my team of randoms, we do tend to lose more often, but sometimes you get these random curveballs where like that team of four matching against, they're not that good and we end up walking away with a win. It does feel odd that they want to try and limit who you can play with though in the game. now. I'm sure majority of people are playing online or in teams of two or just solo players. And so when you're playing with like teams of three and four, and if you're an Onyx player, maybe you just won't be able to play Halo if you want to play with your buddies, which I just find odd that they want to put this type of restriction. Like I understand trying to maintain that balance, but also you got to remember that these are just kind of like online matches. And I think it's better to let people have fun with the game and maybe steamroll if that happens. And you know, you take that L for that game as a person like myself, who's a solo queue player, but you move on to the next game, just feel kind of cheated and then you lost, but like, hey, whatever, it's online matchmaking. There's nothing really on the line. But I'm assuming 343 has the data of player behavior. If you're an Onyx player, are you playing in a team of three or four? Are you playing solo for the most part? You know, let me know in the comment section down below. 343 does say that once this is implemented later this summer, we will, of course, monitor feedback and data and all that kind of stuff in between right there. So, which then makes me think, did 343 go a little too far when it came to this change? Because you definitely have the algorithm for skill-based matchmaking pretty well done in Halo Infinite. And I think you should be able to find a way to calculate team ability versus just raw CSR matchmaking. Like there has to be some type of statistic you can pull up of teams at three and four. How often do they win and who do they play against? We'll see how long this stays within the game. I would like to see this be removed just to give players more ability to play the game how they want and then let the algorithm that you spend so much time fine tuning kind of drive the ship there a little bit. Though honestly, my biggest issue when playing Halo Infinite, when it comes to ranked, when it comes to unbalanced teams, is that sometimes you get a player on your team who's just not meant to be in your lobby. Like last night I was playing, I'm like a diamond tier player, mid tier diamond player and stuff like that. 
and oftentimes a platinum player will be thrown into the lobby and the platinum player always underperforms and so while the other team has like mid-tier diamonds low tier diamonds i'm stuck with a guy who is a platinum two going like eight and 25. obviously if that player overperformed they deserve to be up in higher brackets to kind of test out their skill rank and stuff like that i totally get it that's the most frustrating part for me when it comes to the matchmaking experience within halo ranked experience is that a lot of times you just get teams that are just clearly not balanced and you take that L even though you performed well. Let me know what you think of these changes. Make sure you subscribe to keep yourself up to date with everything going on with Halo and gaming. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.